Amazon wanted 14 bucks for a single 12 banger at 30 amps. I managed to pick up two six bangers for five bucks a piece, both 30 amps. They look like solid, yeah, it's solid uh, polyurethane or some sort of plastic. So I'll just shave off the, uh, I'll shave off this part on each of them and gang them together. And there we go, I got a 12 banger, 30 amps. I think the overall fit is a lot better than this uh, this smaller um, whatever amperage that one is. Uh, it just this this one just fills out the tray a lot better. I got about I don't know, maybe three eighths of an inch on either side, and uh, and I actually spaced my I spaced my wiring for for this for the one that I was going to order. So this is basically the same size as that. Now that I trimmed it down, um, you can see my wiring sort of dovetails in. To meet this one um, this is just temporary so I could do some testing and stuff uh, so once I get this one then the wires will come out come out and, and come up into the terminals nice and straight they look a lot cleaner well I guess I just wouldn't be me if I wasn't doing stuff twice I wasn't really that happy with this one it was functional but it's sloppy so, you know I threw it together in a pinch just trying to make it work so and I decided I didn't like this lip after all because it was in the way of uh, of my socket when I was trying to get these the two nuts on and off. Um, so I made another one out of a thicker wall piece of 50 mil square tubing. That one was just 30 mil. Um, so this one fits nice and tight down on the plate inside the PVC. Got my 11 mil lock nuts, uh, nylon, nylocks. And now, since I relocated the fuse from the starter, the fuse that runs from the, or from the alternator, it used to run from the alternator, loop around into the fuse here, and then come around and then make this big 80, 180 degree bend to bolt into this stud here. And the problem was I couldn't, I had to get my battery in and out and it was becoming a problem. So now, instead of that, it comes off of the alternator, down underneath my AC line, and into my secret hiding spot underneath here, under the PVC box. And comes out on this end of the PVC box. I gotta cut this cable shorter, but now it'll cut 90 degrees straight up into that bolt right there. So that's the clearance that I have in between the PDC and those plugs over there compared to what it used to be all the way out here like this. So that's, that's gonna work really nice. I'm happy with this. And not only that, but I didn't have to trim any more out of the lid for the PVC. It clears just fine. So this cable is gonna come up like that, bolt on there, and then the other cable is gonna come from this stud down to my battery, positive post on my battery. All right, so I just got a call, emergency camping trip. So I'm throwing this thing together real quick. For now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip my trigger wires and the negative uh, of the ground uh, activation wire for the rear view camera. I'm hooking up my, my light sense and my ignition sense. And obviously I have uh, all my, my wires. I'm gonna switch this terminal block. I have this other one. I couldn't wait for the, the 12 gang to get here from Amazon. So I got two six gang from uh, local electronic store and I just I just shaved them off like that I uh I might have I might have actually edited in 
a, uh, a clip of me doing that in the beginning of this video. So I'm gonna throw this one on, swap it out for the, for the other one, which is only, I think, a 10 or 15 amp. Um, these are all 15 amps, except for this, this double white wire, that's 30 amps. So I definitely need the 30 amp um, terminal, terminal block. So I'm gonna throw this in um, and hopefully not be here too late. It's already, Jesus, it's already 1034 at night. Uh, so I gotta get the, get the, get the uh, tray in, I gotta get the battery back in. Um, more or less finished the PDC box. I got this, I got this wire shortened. I need to shorten this one still once I get the battery in and uh, measure the length, what I need. So I'm putting the isolator together now. Once I get the isolator together, I can put the tray in and then I need to put the dual batteries on the tray on, for, the, for, the, for the back so I can load the fridge. And I got probably a half a dozen of other things to do before uh, we leave tomorrow afternoon. So we'll see how it goes. All right, I got this rigged up as clean as possible under the circumstances. I'm um, ready to put the battery in. I got my all my trigger wires bundled up down here. My ground, I'm gonna run to the battery. Isolator ground here. I still need to put put the clip back on the comms cable. And I still need to wire my rock lights and my LED bars. Uh, so I need a uh, distribution block, I think, for these for these uh, hot lines. All of them except for the switch pros, at least. I got this wire is going to my isolator. This wire is going to my switch pros. This wire is going to my starter. This wire is going to my winch. And I got another wire that I'm about to cut out of this piece that I cut off of this wire, this one is going to go from the PDC box down to that bolt there. So all these wires coming off of this one terminal, it's kind of crazy. All right, let's see how, how much easier I can get this battery to slide into position now that I got my PDC situation straightened out. at that doesn't even touch straight in look at that all that space I got at least three quarters of an inch went right in didn't even touch the sides it's like a game of operation all right I just triple checked on my reference photos and this is the order that the cables go in. If you look at the clip, this side of the clip, you got black, white, green, red. So hopefully these go in smoothly. Smoother than they came out at least. two at a time, if I can. Okay, about the click. Click, two clicks, and then final part, that should be good to go. Well, the glue was a total failure, but put some heavy duty Velcro on the back. I'm, I'm just gonna stick this down with Velcro for now because I'm gonna redo the, the tray when I get the chance. 
so it's no, no sense in taking the time to drill the holes and and uh, put nuts and screws in there. I'll just stick it down with Velcro. You can see the size difference in these. This is the, I don't even know how many amps this carries. It doesn't even say uh, 25 amps. There it is, right there, 25 amps, 600 volts. This one is 30 amps, so. Um, I need the 30 amps for switch number nine, which is the double white wires right here. Those two go together in one terminal, and that's 30 amps. So I, I need at least 30 amps for the for the upper upper deck. never called me back about the, uh, the replacement standards. You got a table inside? Nope. Oh. <laughs> no. No. The cabinet's bare. You got a chair? I got a sheet. Uh, oh, I have a chair over here. Oh, yeah? I was hoping to have my table in here and stuff, but... That's okay. We can get out. Yeah. We got table at all. Okay. Oh, well. Okay. okay. Camping trip went off without any major issues. My wiring held up. Everything 
uh, everything was fine. I, I managed to put one of the engine lights in up here right before we left, but I ran out of time, so I couldn't do the other one. But they're definitely much, much better. You can see everything in here now. Once I put that one over there, it's, it's gonna be like Times Square in here. And I got a chance to test out the, the light bars and the, and the rock lights. It wasn't a real rocky trip, but I still had a chance to check them out. And I just mounted the, the pad down here temporarily. Um, what I'm gonna do is delete these two cigarette lighters and put the pad right here. It fits perfectly between these two surfaces and it hangs down just past the sticker here. So it's, it's a perfect spot for it. But I just put it down there temporarily until I have a chance to, to relocate these. I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna put these. I, I was gonna put them here, but I have a, um, a voltmeter, a circular voltmeter that I'm gonna put there. It, um, it gives a reading for the main battery and then below it gives a reading for the auxiliary battery so I can run a wire back to my battery bank in the back of the Jeep. But uh, yeah, so at this point, I'm just airing things out. I, uh, <laughs> it completely, I completely forgot. I didn't realize it until um, we got on the road, but I forgot to fix my air conditioning leak that I developed last summer. And so at the end of last summer, I, I sort of put it off because it was getting cooler out and I didn't really need air conditioning. So I wound up having to use my, my tent fans and I clamped them on my, on my shifter here. So it was, it was pretty warm, but they, they definitely helped out. And uh, it didn't rain, so I was able to keep the back window rolled up. I, I did put these windows in though, because we uh, the area that we go to is kind of dusty. But uh, the fridge held its own, even though on the way down, it was literally 90 degrees inside the Jeep. And so I plugged the, I plugged the uh, fridge in beforehand and got it nice and cool. Right before we left at one o'clock in the afternoon, I put it in the Jeep and I didn't, I didn't have time to, to wire up the batteries in the tray. So I just ganged them together and, and uh, winch strapped them to the, to the floor, to the ties, tie downs. And I put a full charge on them and they, they powered the fridge from 1.30 yesterday afternoon until, oh, I shut the fridge down when I woke up about 5.30 this morning. And the, the fridge at that point had just one, it had one battery dot left out of the five. So that's, that's pretty good. That's what, 17 hours, I think, um, to, I, I think that's, I might've drawn the batteries down a little bit more than I should have, but I think uh, once I have the batteries wired into the system, into the isolator, and they're charging on the way to the campground, then I'm not relying on them out of the gate, you know, right out of the out of the garage. So, in other words, they're going to be topped off until I park and start camping, instead of um, being topped off when I leave here and then I'm drawing a charge the entire time. So, and I also I'm, I'm thinking about getting uh, one of those matte style um, solar panels and mounting it up on top of the on top of the camper top. But uh, yeah, so. I mean, for for what I was, what I had time to do, this definitely worked out. I had I had eggs and cold cold bacon and uh, milk in the fridge when I woke up this morning and had a nice breakfast before we left. So I call that a success. Good job.